One of the drawbacks to any restricted diet is the fact that it's just that restrictive. Right? Uh, so what are you going to do if you're a carnivore or a ketovore or a keto and you get a craving for a delicious cheesy pizza? Well, we turn to our good friend, the chicken breast. That's right. Uh, we are, today we are going to make a chicken crust pizza. And we're going to be using my Alfredo sauce that I showed you in a previous video, right up there, in place of tomato sauce. Since when you're eating carnivore, you want to keep the carbs as low as possible. You're going to need, you will need a food processor for this. Uh, you could use a blender. Uh, you'll just have to make sure you scrape everything down the sides because the blades on the blender are on the bottom only, whereas the food processor has the two, two layers, so it gets nice and mixed up. So whatever you have, you can make this, no problem. So, that being said, let's get in the kitchen and go make a keto-safe chicken crust pizza. Right, so, for a carnivore slash ketovore pizza, obviously we can't go with a traditional pot, uh, marinara or tomato sauce. So, our option is cream sauce. I'm just going to make a very simple, small batch of cream sauce, butter, let that melt. Some garlic. And of course, our heavy cream. And because this is just a pizza sauce, don't need to make a huge batch, just enough to cover the pie. As with our sauce before, let bring it to a boil, then lower the heat, let it simmer, and thicken up. And of course, some cheese. Don't need too much as we're gonna have a lot of cheese on the pizza. For our quote unquote crust, I've cut up a about one and a half uh, medium to large chicken breasts. And I throw that in our trusty old food processor. So once we got it in, just Sprinkle in some of this generic Italian seasoning. Just to give our pizza crust a little extra flavor. And then continue to process it. When you're finished, you have a, you should have a nice, thick, pulpy chicken puree. Right, get yourself a pizza pan or any kind of baking tray, Oil, grease it up. I'm using baking grease for mine. You can use Crisco, lard, butter, whatever you want to use. Just something to keep your chicken dough from sticking. Just spread that out, fill the pan. You can use your hands if, you, if your hands if you want, just remember to wash them afterwards. As you see, I didn't have, quite have enough chicken to make a 12 inch pie, so this is going to be about probably a 8 to 10 inch pizza crust. Pop that in the oven and see what happens. I want to go ahead and put that in the oven at about 180 for, let's try 10 minutes just to get the crust to harden so we can put our sauces on. At about 5 minutes in, see it's starting to cook already and firm up so we can put our toppings on. So we've got our garlic cream sauce we made earlier. I've been eating keto slash carnivore. We want to kind of avoid to have to avoid tomato sauce. Spread that around. Now you'll see I left a little bit of an edge here to so make some some degree of a crust to hold it by. Just keep everything nice and centered. And we go in with cheese, of course. And then I'm going to top it off with some delicious classic Smithfield bacon.
best bake you can buy in China. And very, very carnivore friendly. It's not exactly looking like the prettiest pizza, but hopefully it'll look a bit better once it browns and comes out of the oven. And let's pop it back in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes at 180 degrees. All right, this turned out amazing. Smells fantastic. Looks like a proper pizza. Some brown on the browning on the edges. I cannot wait to try this. So we've got our thin, our chicken thin crust bacon uh, white sauce pizza here. Again, I went with I went with the cream sauce. Yeah, you can follow my the recipe from my, one of my older videos here up in the top to get that recipe the, for the sauce I used. And this smells and looks amazing. Visually, looks very pizza. So this. Absolutely amazing. The only thing I would do different next time is I would make the crust thinner. Make it a bit make the pie, make the pie itself bigger. Um, but other than that, this is an amazing pizza substitute. If you're craving pizza and you can't have carbs. Well, can't have too many carbs. <laughs> um, so definitely try this recipe out let me know what you think in the comments below remember to like and subscribe and as always keep cooking stay positive rock on